Hey family, welcome back to Of Land and Leaf. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Andrea and I garden in a community garden plot about 15 minutes away from my home. I just arrived here today. I wanted to put my snail traps in the garden and just check on some things. I got here and no one else is here. You know, I always love um, when I'm in the garden by myself, which is really hard when you're in a community garden, especially one as large as mine. I'm just gonna turn around so you can kind of see huge community garden several several plots so I don't often get the peace of being here by myself the neighbors across the way are blasting music as well so but it's okay music is good I wanted to show you because I was laughing I wasn't gonna do a video but I was just laughing my mom got me these little snail traps you um, put them at kind of ground level and fill them up with beer I'm not a beer drinker <laughs> So I had to go, I went to Walmart today to buy some beer. And I just felt so judged because I was gonna go get like the cheapest possible beer because it was going like in the garden to be filled with, with snails and hopefully roly polies. So I bought this Keystone Light. If you're a beer drinker, I don't know. It was the cheapest beer that they had at Walmart. And I just felt like everyone was looking at me as they were looking at their craft beers. And like, I'm like, we're all in Walmart buying beer. So no one, there's no room to judge. <laughs> but anyway, what I want to get done today is I want to go ahead and get those traps out. And I've decided that I want to take the mulch out of my like little walkway area. So I'm going to try to get some of that mulch raked up and put in the front. It's hot it's like 86 degrees so I'm not sure how much work I'm going to actually do today I also want to get some water towards the end of my journey here I want to get some water down because I haven't been out in a couple days and it's super dry 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 in the garden so those are my plans I wanted to show you my beer <laughs> and just show you some other things that I'm working on I found some eggs they're really small this is why you have to be out in the garden I don't know if you can really see them but I'm gonna use my insect identifier app to find out what they are. Okay, I found out they are squash bug eggs, which you don't want on your zucchini, battling these squash bugs. So I'm going to get rid of the babies, smash those eggs up, um, probably drop them in my water, and uh, just check the other leaves to see if there are any more uh, eggs anywhere. Okay, it's the next day and I'm back at the garden. I did not pull up the mulch like I planned to yesterday. Yesterday I was working in the garden and one of my neighbors came up to me. She's like, what are you doing? And I said, I need to get this um, mulch up because it's attracting bugs. And she's like, that's the decision that you make late fall or early spring, not June in Georgia. She said, you're gonna pass out and it was hot. So I went ahead and left that. Um, today I am here finishing up. I usually don't come every day. I come every other day or every couple days, but I did want to um, get some more soil in my potato bags and give my tomatoes some Epsom salt. So that's what I'm working on today. One thing that I'm trying uh, this year is I bought these mesh bags. I'm going to show you the tag from Dollar Tree. Uh, three mesh bags for $1.25. And they're small and I'm going to use these to cover my summer squash that's coming in. I'm going to try to get ahead of the vine borers by covering the squash with these mesh bags, hoping that the, um, the vine borer can't get in. We'll see. This is my first time growing summer squash. Okay. And so this is what this looks like. The, the bags are just over my new summer squash that's coming up just trying to protect it from um, vine borers. I did not cover the patty pan in the front. I will watch it, but I just bought three bags, so I decided to try them on the summer squash because that's what I hear about the most. Wrapping things up, I decided to go ahead and harvest an onion or two today since these flowers are kind of taking over and they're gonna get shaded out. I might as well go ahead and grab one for my strawberry salad that I'm gonna have for dinner. All right, so today's harvest, two huge red onions, and my neighbor gave me a bunch of blackberries, and I'm going to go home and soak. Love fresh food from the garden. Happy gardening. 